Hi, I'm Jasmine from Jasmine Penamon Jewelry, and thanks for joining me today on the Reconstruction Zone. As part of my line, I have some really cool body chains, but I'm going to teach you all how to do some of your own that's going to be very inexpensive and, of course, simple to make. Body chains are not something that everyone thinks that they can always pull off, but you know, you can look to some of your favorite stars. Rihanna is wearing them by the pool. You'll see a ton of different people who are doing them all over Coachella. Um, for me and myself, I thought body chains were gonna be a little bit harder now that my stomach is getting bigger with the baby. But, you know, it's a really perfect time in my life where I actually for once don't have to suck in my stomach. And the ones that I've done and the ones that we'll do today, we're actually gonna do a little bit of a cheat. So we're gonna have a little bit of material in the back. So then as your belly gets maybe a little bit bigger, like me, you can go ahead and just tie it and do a little bit of adjustments. In order to do the project, we're gonna need two pieces of chain that's gonna to connect to the stomach. I've already pre-cut these. So this is approximately 14 inches. So I'm gonna get my small jump ring and go ahead and start connecting that to my chain. and then connecting that to one of my larger jump rings. And we can close back up this big one. And then take another small jump ring and just go ahead and attach this to the other side. And take our second piece and a second jump ring. And we're going to attach this together. This is going to be the middle part here that's going to attach back up. Now we'll finish off the end. So again, I'm going to take my small jump ring. And then we'll do a connection to a larger one. And then now that we're done with this part, we'll go ahead and finish it with the suede. This faux suede, again, I've already pre-cut. This is gonna be approximately 37 inches. And we're gonna just slide it through the end. Pull it in half. and just tie a knot there at the bottom. And maybe just do one more knot to make sure it doesn't come apart. And we'll do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Now, this is gonna be what's gonna go around our waist. And we're gonna start back with another piece to go up and connect to our necklace. For this next part, we're going to take a little bit of chain and attach it to the bottom. And then attach it to that middle jump ring. And this is going to be what's going to start going up in your necklace. From here, we're going to take one more jump ring. And then I can connect it to my three pieces, my little studs here. And these I've already kind of pre put together. This is going to be the top of where my necklace comes from. So I've already attached one jump ring here.
I'm kind of be here. So I'm going to do a small piece. It's going to end up being my necklace. I'm just going to approximate it. Take another jump ring. Connect the two pieces together. And then take that same connection and connect it to the very top of your piece. Now, in order to actually attach this around your neck, snip that about in half. And this is gonna be where we're gonna put our lobster claw. We're going to connect this one to our claw, close it back up, and then connect another small to a large on the end. And then these pieces will hook together for the top of our necklace. And then this piece will go around the waist. 